I'm here with Joey Russo, the star of the upcoming movie Jersey Boys. Were you a fan of Four Seasons? Yeah, I mean, you know, that music is what I grew up on. I mean, that's, that's you know, that's it's a big influence from my mother and father, and that's music that, you know, you hear songs, you don't even believe it's theirs that, that you've, you've heard before. And then, you know, the typical songs that you hear coming from a family from Brooklyn and New Jersey, like mine, it's, it, they're a huge part of growing up. We were only introduced to Joe Pesci from Raging Bull and Goodfellas, and that all happened when he was in his 40s. And, you know, I have to play him from the ages of about 16 to 25. So the research and figuring out everything that went on and what he was doing in that time, it, it was really interesting. It was really fulfilling. There was a lot of neat things that I never knew about before with him. Like what? That, you know, he worked as a pin setter in the bowling alley. He was huge into music. Uh, I know, well, as far as, you know, uh, his, his, his family wanted him to be in the entertainment industry. He was on a show called Star Time Kids as a kid. I mean, he was really all about the arts, which was great in entertainment. And he was managing bands, and then he winded up being the key component to finding Bob Gaudio to bring him into the Four Seasons, and that's what made them as big as they are. I mean, he wrote all the songs, so it was a lot of it had to do with uh, Joe Pesci. It, it was amazing. Plus, he's one of my heroes as far as acting. I mean, he's my inspiration, so it was a real honor to play him. A lot of the challenges were just really getting into figuring out who this guy was at that time period. You know, uh, you really didn't have much to reference to as far as him specifically, so you really had to gather from what was going on during that time and what was the feel and the overall tone and what, you know, you can't mimic his character on a movie because that was his character in a movie and that's when he was 40, so how was he at 16? So, but it also freed me up and gave me the artistic creativity to try to sprinkle in little Joe Pesci-isms throughout the whole movie whenever I appear. It's in my bones. It's definitely inside me and I want to earn my right to it so that it's, it's all filtering inside. You know, you find yourself in the middle of the research, maybe, you know, turning into a lack gang, a little <laughs> Pesciism comes out. But no, it's, it's inside, it's, you've earned your right for it to be inside you, so it's nice. The rest of the cast is wonderful. You have Vincent Piazza, who plays Tommy DeVito, who I'm a, I'm, I'm a huge fan of everybody in the cast. They were wonderful. He's uh, played Lucky Luciano on Boardwalk Empire. And Vincent and I were the kind of the only few that weren't really cast off of Broadway. Uh, so that was nice. Him and I, and a lot of my scenes are with him, so him and I had that relationship. But Eric Bergen plays Bob Gaudio, who also played in the show. Michael Amenda plays Nick Massey. John Conazero, he plays Nick DeVito, Tommy DeVito's brother. And of course, John Lloyd Young, who won the Tony Award for playing Frankie Valli and Renee Marino, who plays his wife. They were all Broadway, and you know, it was quite amazing because the whole cast, I'm watching them, and I got to see the live singing happening, and it was like I got to see the show front row. Mm -hmm. Thank God, Pesci doesn't sing, so <laughs> I, I, I lucked out. But it was, the cast was so, I kind of felt like we were all in the same boat together. We were all willing to rehearse where much before we started shooting. We became, it's weird, we became a family. Catherine Narducci, who, uh, Bronx Tale, I mean, she was in Sopranos, Bronx Tale, she plays Frankie's mom, and Lou Volpe, who's a friend of mine as well, and I'm a friend of his, uh, we have mutual friends, he plays Frankie's father, so we all kind of had this thing, you know, that we all kind of knew each other in some degrees of separation. And then even now, after shooting, we've gone to brunch a couple times, and it's nice to all be together. So it turned into a mini family. It's great. We have a show, my buddy Jeremy Luke and I, uh, who's also in the cast. He's one of my, my best friends, mentor. We came up with a show called Turbo and Joey, and... Um, uh, it's a, about two guys from Staten Island trying to make it in Hollywood and what started out as just something to do for busy work kind of exploded into this thing and in one of the episodes a major part of it is to try to get cast in a new Joe Pesci movie <laughs> so him and I recreated shot for shot with the filmmaker Justin Shack and the writer of Lev Iden. we recreated shot for shot 
um, the scene in Casino where Joe Pesci and Robert De Niro meet in the desert. Wow. And we had a helicopter shot, it was this whole thing. I played Joe Pesci, Jeremy Luke played Robert De Niro. And I know it kind of gained a lot of ground. There was a lot of people started talking about it. It was Turbo and Joey, and uh -huh. it's on YouTube. And then uh, the casting director, Jeffrey Meeklot, was a big fan of the show. And then all of a sudden, this role comes up that they need a young Joe Pesci. And it kind of seemed perfect. And then after me getting hired on it, I find out Jeremy gets hired, uh, hired to play Donnie. And his partner in crime in that scene is Stash, who's my other friend, James Matteo. It's like it all turned into like this, this family thing. It was really quite wonderful. Tell me about working with Clint Eastwood. He's sharp, man. He's he's great. He kids around and he jokes, but he's he's just on. He's so professional and on top of everything. He's really the sharpest man that I. I mean, he's really with it, and he every little detail. So it really it was an honor to work with him. You. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>